Hey guys, this is Ali with my Nokia blog, and today we got a really cool video for you guys. I'm going to show you how to type in Arabic on Windows Phone 7.5 Mango. So basically, Windows Phone does not support Arabic in its um, Unicode format or whatever. It supports it in applications, but it does not support it on the, on the browser or in the email. So basically, and there is no keyboard, so that's an issue for some people, and that's why Windows Phone was not released in um, the Middle East and Gulf areas until very recently in Lebanon, I believe. It saw its first wide range release. So what you want to do to get Windows Phone Arabic on your Windows Phone, well, first of all, let me just say this is not the optimal solution. Optimal solution would be to have it built in, but it's a workaround to get Arabic typing on your phone. You're going to want to head over to your marketplace and download an application called Arabic Keyboard Mango. As you can see right there, I have it. Arabic Keyboard Mango. And what this does is it just, it's an application with a keyboard. That's all it is. You open it up, and there you have an Arabic keyboard. For anyone who doesn't know Arabic, yes, those are the Arabic letters. There's 28 of them. They're all there. I think there's 28. Not sure. Anyways, so they're all there, and basically you can just type normally. It has the same spacing of your normal Windows Phone keyboard. And you just type up whatever you want. So let's type this up. It's always difficult to type on camera. Sorry, ends up almost never showing. So let's just type marhaba, which is hello. Okay. So as you can see here, it's been typed and it's there, Arabic keyboard. And what I have down here is a, section, a selection of options. I can either select the text, text, or I can learn how to use it, or send send whatever text I just entered as an SMS, or I can search whatever I entered on Bing, which is really cool. So um, let's just so if I just hit search Bing, Bing is searching, and the text here it's actually right here. You can see there it's the disjointed letters discontinued because um, it doesn't support it. But and as you can see in my web results, it's showing up properly. So anyways, um, that's for, you know, if you just want to search a quick word or anything. If right now I want to continue typing and I write a couple more letters, let's start all over. Um, oh yes, the other option is if you click anywhere on the screen, you'll get an English keyboard. So if you want to mix between English and Arabic, you have that option. If you click back again, you get the Arabic keyboard. So let's just type all over again. Marhaba. Have a Windows Phone, which means this is Windows Phone, basically. Sorry, I'm a really slow typer in Arabic because I almost never use the keyboard, which is why this is an acceptable solution for me because um, I hardly ever type in Arabic at all, so I don't, I, if I need it, it's there in case of emergencies or in like in dire situations, but it's not my default keyboard, so it works out. But for people who use Arabic as their default language, it's a bit difficult, but anyways. So there I have my stuff typed out. So I just hit the select all button and all my text is copied and I can just hit the copy button and now if I go over to sorry not WhatsApp I want Twitter post the message and just hit paste sorry once again the text shows messed up but it will post to Twitter normally the post line so if I just hit enter posting and um, let me just update the thing. As you can see here on, on my Twitter preview, the text is showing up properly. So um, there it is basically, simple solution to getting Arabic on your Windows phone. Not the most elegant solutions, but it works and that's what matters. Once again, it's called Arabic Keyboard Mango. I'm just try and get this. Sorry, I forgot there's no landscape. It's called Arabic Keyboard Mango. You can get it in the store, it's free. Um, so be sure to download it and you know, since it's such an awesome application, be sure to rate them five stars because they've helped a lot of people out. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to um, 
you know, like, comment, and subscribe. And since, you know, if you know anyone who needs an Arabic keyboard, be sure to share the video for them. Thanks for watching.